This week, my co-captain is USA Today Sports Now reporter Annalise Bailey. What's up? Hi, girl. I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. Every week, we like to start off the show with a segment we like to call Three Things, where we take a closer look at the topics everyone's talking about in the sports world. So first thing this week, how on earth? So New Orleans Saints head coach Sean Payton is getting the Adam Sandler treatment. Kevin James, a.k.a. Paul Blart Mall Cop, is going to be playing the coach in a movie called Home Team. Yes. So the movie is being produced by Happy Madison Productions which is Adam Sandler's production company. Yep. It's set to start filming this year, and it's based on the true story that will chronicle how Peyton came to be the assistant coach for his son's sixth grade football team in 2012 when he was suspended from the league for his role in the Bounty Gate scandal. Girl, how on earth did this happen? <laughs> so... From my um, investigating online, apparently Sean's <laughs> daughter is dating the brother-in-law of Adam Sandler, and that's kind of how he pitched it to him. But for me, I'm just like, it doesn't matter who you are, Coach Sean Payton, as long as you know someone in Hollywood, you can get a movie made yes, about you. <laughs> you get a movie and you get a movie. I'm kind of excited for it. But second thing, moving on to the second thing this week, social media jerseys. So in their spring game uh, this weekend, University of Central Florida players donned their brand new jerseys with their social media handles on the back of where their last name would normally be. To me, this is definitely just the whole athlete compensation argument of, you know, we can't really pay them just yet, but they can be their own person. I'm not really a fan. What do you think? <laughs> I love the idea of athletes getting to develop their off the field personal brand. And this is a fun way to do just that. And it's cool to see that UCF was like the first big college team to explore this particular concept. We will definitely have to keep an eye out on this as the conversation of name, image, and likeness evolves. As much as the, the jerseys and the other topics have taken the spotlight, we do want to turn to our front page or the story dominating the sports game right now. And it actually has nothing to do with the game itself. This past week, um, a 20 year old black man by the name of Dante Wright was fatally shot by a police officer in Minnesota at a traffic stop. Uh, we saw coaches, athletes speak out about the incident and I think further proving athletes and sports ability to bring awareness to these issues in our country. Yeah, before we talk about how the world of sports is reacting, I just want to acknowledge that this week has been extremely, extremely heavy. That fatal shooting took place just miles away from where the trial of Derek Chauvin is happening this month. Chauvin is on trial for the murder of George Floyd. If you've been watching that trial, you know how devastating it has been to literally relive that fatal event that happened in Minneapolis over the summer. This scenario of a traffic stop resulting in death is nothing new to us. It is exhausting. It is frustrating and it does not get any easier as time goes on. The black community is really hurting right now, but I think Celtics all-star Jalen Brown really encapsulates how everyone is feeling in this next clip. So let's take a look. If you're watching this, listening or tuning in, I just want you to know that your life has value. So much value. Um, that they're trying so hard to, to make you feel otherwise. My life has value. Uh, my life had value before I played for the Celtics and it will long after. At one point, I, I do want to make, we have seen athletes in the past speak out. Uh, you know, we've seen the social justice trailblazers, but uh, now we're seeing it being embraced universally, more and more making it a part of their platform to speak out on these issues. Hey sports fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.